Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. My name's Andrew Grossett, and welcome to Malthus Road. Come check this out. So welcome to this four bedroom, terraced, Victorian conversion house. And I've been so excited to actually get inside here. We sold one property for this particular developer before, and they did an amazing job on it, and they have left nothing, no stone, no stone unturned, and no detail, no detail left out whatsoever. So we're going to open Diana and lounge here and just check out this light feature. I mean, isn't it cool? Where have you ever seen a, a light feature in a front room like that? And when we talk about details here, just take a look at this fireplace here. His invitation, I know, does let off heat, but at the touch of a button, you can just do that. I can't forget, just as everyone knows, we know, but really and truly, having a fireplace on tap and on a remote, it's just out of this world to me. But anyway, so, nice feature that neutral decor throughout, optional different changes on lights that you can have, dependent on your mood. The sash window at the front just grabs every ounce of light that you could possibly have and filters it straight away through into this front room. So if you're sat there watching TV with your own half, Netflix and chilling, or whether you're just sat here reading a book, it's just an awesome space to sit in and spend some time. Let's go through it. Now, I will have to come up with a cooler name for it, I will, and I will think of something, but for now we'll call it Open Plan Utility Space. So, secondary sink, not the main one. Cupboards in abundance, as you can imagine, and then also, Nice, nice place to conceal your boiler. Now, obviously we're on three floors here, so here's the lower ground toilet. So you've got a separate WC. And just step into this. Fully integrated appliances, so you've got your grill, your oven, oven over the side there, dishwashers are all included in there as well. Uh, you can your drawer for bins, ample amounts of storage, full on extra large induction hob, all of this, and your main sink over there. It's just, it's just a phenomenal place to be in. It's just a phenomenal place to be in. Now, if you're anything like me, I'm not really a great fan of the outdoors, I have to admit, but in this, in this particular property, you can bring the outdoors indoors. So all the benefits of the fresh air, hearing the birds tweeting and all that jazz, but you could be sat here right on your sofa. <laughs> Step out into the garden, simply landscape garden. Nothing too intricate, nothing too deep, too difficult. Very simple for people to manage, especially someone like myself that really and truly is not friendly with a lawnmower. But there you go, it's so nice and simply done. We're a west facing garden. Um, yeah, it's just, again, a nice place to be in. Stuff there. Just in case you're wondering on this one, everywhere that you see bare exposed floorboards like this on the stairs is where they're committed to putting in additional carpet. So this, imagine, will be a really plush, plush, probably white carpet just to offset against the rest of the house. Now this is where it really gets fancy. Step into this bathroom, check it. Whether or not you want a walk-in shower, you can do it. Or if you want to relax in the tub, you can do it. You don't even have to share your sink. We've got a his and hers Jack and Jill sink over here. And I don't have the remote for it right now. Behind that screen is an actual screen. So we've got waterproof TV. So whether or not it is Top Gear, Desperate Housewives, whatever it is that floats your boat, while you sink it or you sink in the tub and actually just enjoy the warmth of that and relax. Also, also keep up to date with all the latest TV shows. Stepping in here, you've got bedroom white, decent size double. Not sure if the bear's included, but we'll see. Either way, <laughs> he's flying a flag of his own. And then stepping into this room here, the master is going to absolutely get spectacular. Two such windows, again, maximum amounts of light in here. You can just imagine, imagine the scene, big double bed, wardrobes over in the corner, TV on the, TV on the, on the, on the stand over there, and then you just in bed on the side, having a lazy Sunday morning with a cup, with a cup of cocoa or coffee, whichever one takes you, takes you fancy. But a nice, warm, cozy room. And that takes up the first floor. There is more, so we're going to the bedroom three. 
Again, good size. Probably stepping into sort of office territory territory now. Maybe a nursery, whichever one you want, whatever you want to be. Um, but all three so a good size room and a good place to have. Or just turn into a guest room. Okay. We've also got in here additional bathroom. There's no bath in this one, but we do have a rather exquisite shower. Just take a look at that shower head. And just imagine it's like raindrops falling on your head, just like the song says. And then last but not least, the fourth bedroom. Additional storage over here, which actually does go quite far back. Um, nice space for your suitcases and whatever else you can fit in there. Absolutely. Spectacular home. So there you have it. Four bedrooms, two bathrooms, three toilets, massive open plan, open plan dining room and lounge. Nice space out here in an ultimate light box with open plan kitchen, garden, and all for a spectacular. £935,000. My name is Andrew Grossett. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the forwards.